Welcome to my opinion here on my opinion TV. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. So as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. And this evening, just want to tell you, you can keep our conversation going on our WhatsApp group. And the number is there on screen for you to see. And our attention is turned to the parish of St. James, Montego Bay, precisely. And so far, there's a operation going on at a port in Montego Bay. And so far, the operation has yielded three M16 rifles, four pistols, nine magazines, and several rounds of ammunition. So... According to our sources, ongoing operation at port in Montego Bay, St. James, has led to the seizure of three M16 rifles, four pistols, nine magazines, several rounds of ammunition. The weapons were discovered concealed in the back of three television sets. The search continues. Now, how much more must we applaud the effort? of the hard-working men and women of the Jamaica Constabulary Force because in January and February, weapons were recovered. We can remember weapons recovered at Stadium East. We also remember weapons recovered in Trelawney. And now all of seven weapons have been found and seized at a port in Montego Bay. Seven weapons that should have entered the street for destruction being located by the police. Now, while this is a good find, my concern is if this was in the back of a television set to go to a, a customer or to someone to come to the port to clear it, I, didn't, I would not want the Jamaica Constabulary Force should just locate this without arresting anybody. As a layman, what I would have done is I know that the weapons are there. I would want to allow the person to collect it and trail the person to their destination. Then arrest the person and make a search of the person's home because no doubt there could be more weapons hiding at that location. The next thing I'd want to know is to get information as to where these weapons are coming from and who is the individual that is sending these weapons. Because too many times we have weapons coming into this country that is creating mayhem to citizens of Jamaica. And we don't track and trace where it's coming from or who is sending these weapons. We all know what's taking place in St. James, Montego Bay. We all know Salt Spring, Glen Devon and all these areas in St. James. We know what's taking place there. There's an ongoing feud down there in St. James that seems that it will never end. However, when we produce fines like these, we hope at some point that the perpetrator, the person who is sending these weapons, will be caught. If they are in America, we ask Uncle Sam to get the, gather these men and hand them over to the Jamaican authorities where we have, they have their day in court and we put them away for good. No doubt these persons who send these weapons, maybe it's not the first time they are sending these weapons. And how interestingly it is that it was only, I think it was only last week that the Prime Minister raised question about custom officers in Jamaica allowing weapons to come through. No weapons are found. All of seven weapons are found. No, we have to protect our borders. The airport and the sea line, the sea coast are our borders. And while other countries are doing their endeavor best to protect their orders, it seems as if things are just going through Jamaican borders as easy as one, two, three. Well, 
After the speech by the Prime Minister, maybe some persons have looked into themselves. Maybe operation has been changed at the ports. Maybe there are some movements, different customer officers, rotation of custom officers. Maybe that's the reason for the fine. But my argument is, and my argument will always be, is that I don't want the weapons to be found like that and we don't get any success in bringing in the persons who should have been collecting these weapons. We should allow these people to come and collect the weapon, then we trail them. Go to their place of abode and we do a thorough search. It might lead to not only seven weapons, but far more than that. Well, uh, nevertheless, a fine is a fine. And seven weapons off the street is good. Seven weapons that should have touched the street of Montego Bay have been confiscated by the police. That is excellent news. However, we still wait to hear what the police will come up with because we would love for the perpetrators who send these weapons to Jamaica and the back of a television set be caught and be extradited to Jamaica so they can face our courts. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. So as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. Until next time, stay safe. Look out for a neighbor. Look out for a loved one. Look out for the children. And most of all, keep it locked on My Opinion TV.